He's the central midfielder that has England fans hoping he will usher in an era of success that the likes of Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard couldn't. And when he burst into the public consciousness in 2015, scoring screamers and nutmegging opponents like a total savage, he had most of the world scratching their heads as to who this kid was and where he came from. Hey, I'm Adrian from Rabona TV, and today we're looking at England and Tottenham star Deli Alley. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our bios on Antoine Griezmann and Romelu Lukaku because you might learn something you didn't know already. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. Bamadeli Germain Ali was born in 1996 in the Bradwell area of Milton Keynes, England. The house he was born into was a chaotic one, as his mother Denise had four different children, all crammed into a three-bedroom flat. Delhi grew up rarely ever seeing his father, a Nigerian businessman, as just one week after Delhi was born, his father moved to the United States. Now, with all the children in the house and his mother suffering from addiction issues, you'll want to remember that for later in the video, he found himself spending most of his time out on the streets with the local kids, fending for himself both on the streets and at his home. And school? Well, he didn't think about it too much as he didn't divide too much of his attention into school as he was spending most of his time just thinking about football. Mike Dove, the head of the MK Don's youth system, said, quote, there's no secret that as a boy, he was out on the streets a lot. They talk about needing 10,000 hours of practice when young to become a top class performer. He learned for himself, making mistakes and working out how to correct them. That being said, Delhi wasn't picked up by MK Dons until the age of 11, which sounds young, but in this day and age where clubs are signing players at five or six, it was a little bit late in his career. But that didn't really matter, according to Dove. Quote, he looked different to others. He had some confidence in his football. And it wasn't only his technical ability that was catching the attention of trainers as Ali tried to adapt his street football skills onto the pitch. But his physical ability was strong as well as he was breaking the club records for sprint times and distance runs. He wasn't just a quick sprinter though as he had a bit of a quick temper and was liable to lash out at others on the pitch. Perhaps the most recent example of this is the 2017 Europa League clash between KAA Ghent and Tottenham in the second leg where Delhi lashed out on a player with a knee-high tackle and got himself sent off. So although there may have been questions asked about his temperament, there was never any doubts about his ability. With his home life getting more and more chaotic due to his mother Denise falling further into alcohol addiction, Delhi was spending more time on the streets and more time closer to influences that are not befitting of an aspiring athlete. At 13 years of age with social services watching his situation at his family home, it was agreed that Delhi would move into the house of Alan and Sally Hickford, the parents of a fellow MK Dons youth teammate. He ended up staying with the Hickfords for the rest of his time at MK Dons and he still refers to them to this day as his adoptive parents. For the next three years, from the ages of 13 to 16, the added stability of his home life helped Delhi to focus on developing as a player. Manager Carl Robinson also attributes his attitude to his development, saying that, quote, You have a go at Delhi, he's stone-faced. You praise Delhi, he's stone-faced. That's how he takes his life. He strolls in and he strolls out. So when Delhi was given the chance to play for the first team against Cambridge City on November 2nd, 2012, he did just that. He strolled straight into the hearts of the MK Dons faithful. And yeah, he was only 16 years of age. His first ever touch as a senior player was a backheel pass, fitting given the swagger that he plays with, which he likely brought with him from the streets of Bradwell. And his first senior goal came on November 13th, 2012, just 11 days later in the FA Cup replay against Cambridge, which was also Delhi's first senior start. Delhi continued his rapid development and by the end of the 2013-14 season, he'd established himself as a first team regular. He continued to impress and despite a few injuries throughout, he managed to score a hat trick against Notts County on March 11th, 2014 at just 17 years and 11 months old. He finished the season with 37 appearances and seven goals in all competitions Undoubtedly, clubs started to notice. One club that didn't seem to take notice, and perhaps foolishly if you ask Harry Redknapp, was Manchester United. On August 26, 2014, Delhi bossed the midfield in a historic 4-0 League Cup win over Manchester United, in which it was reported that representatives from some of the biggest clubs around Europe were in attendance to see him play, including the likes of Bayern Munich and Liverpool. Perhaps the fact that Liverpool never signed Delhi was a bit of a sting to him as he was a Liverpool fan growing up and Steven Gerrard was his biggest idol. But showing that mental fortitude that previous coaches had remarked upon, Delhi continued his good form and never let the hype go to his head until January came around and Tottenham came calling. 
The agreed upon deal was a measly 5 million pounds for Delhi, with Tottenham loaning him back to MK Dons for the remainder of the 2014-15 season. His performance for MK Dons never dropped throughout the season and in helping them secure promotion, he ended the year with 16 goals from 44 appearances in all competitions. He was also voted the Young Player of the Year at the Football League Awards, which wasn't the last time he'd win an award of this nature. Delhi joined Tottenham for their preseason training in which they lost their first friendly against the MLS All-Stars before flying to Germany for the Audi Cup. As if setting the tone for things to come, Delhi nutmegged Luka Modric in a friendly against Real Madrid, displaying that cheek and flair that he's shown since a very young age. By the way, the nutmeg has become so synonymous with his playing style that some Tottenham fans even set up a Delhi Alley nutmeg counter last season. He made his Tottenham competitive debut on August 8th, 2015 against Manchester United and he scored his first goal for Tottenham two weeks later in a 1-1 draw with eventual league champions Leicester City. Although he wasn't the first name on the team sheet from the offset, he quickly earned his place as the first choice central midfielder. He started in his first North London derby on November 8th, 2015, putting in a man of the match display in the 1-1 draw. His form continued as Delhi racked up 5 goals and 3 assists in his first 18 Premier League matches. Clearly he had impressed the right people at Tottenham as he was awarded a new long-term contract with the club until 2021. He continued to put in great shifts for Spurs as he ended his first season with 10 goals from 46 appearances. He won the PFA Young Player of the Year award in April, but that integral month in the title race came to be a bit of a nightmare for Delhi. On April 28, 2016, the FA banned Delhi for three matches, the reason being due to an off the ball incident against West Brom, in which Delhi was maybe showing his old fiery temperament when he punched Claudio Jakob in the stomach. Obviously regretting the decision, he took to Twitter saying, quote, gutted that my season is over, shouldn't have reacted like I did. We'll learn from this and come back stronger. And he wasn't lying. At the beginning of the 2016-17 season, Deli Alley changed his kit name from Alley to Deli as he claimed that he had no real connection to the Alley name. His father has tried on multiple occasions to reach out to him to get him to change his mind, and he's even flown out to meet with him, but he's failed to do so. But in footballing terms, Delhi is looking like he's en route for his best season yet. November through January were arguably his best months ever as a professional, as he scored three consecutive braces against Southampton, Watford, and the first place Chelsea. By the way, that 2-0 win over Chelsea ended their 13-game winning streak, one short of equaling Arsenal's record of 14 consecutive wins. And speaking of records and further proving his talent, Delhi scored his 20th Premier League goal after just 52 appearances, achieving the feat faster than Scholes, Beckham, Lampard, and even his idol, Steven Gerrard. And it's these kinds of numbers that add to his height. Plus, it's that style of play that he developed on the streets of Bradwell, refined at Tottenham, and adapted to the Premier League pitches that makes him the most exciting and legitimate English talent that we've seen for years. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then be sure to hit that subscribe button for more player bios and football content from Rabona TV. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Adrian, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!